Good morning. So, I'm on my way to work. One, two, three, four. Andrew and I are going to go see Green Day in January. No, February. February. So excited! Can't wait to see them. I've wanted to see them live since I was like 14, 13. So yeah. Traffic's pretty good today. I'm really tired. You know how some mornings you just wake up and you're like, I really just want to lay in bed. I don't want to get up and go to work today. Today is one of those days. Well, actually, most days are one of those days. <laughs> anyway, hope you guys have a nice day. And I will talk to you when I finish work. It's Tuesday, so it's a late night. I'll be finishing around 8 or so. I think I'm getting my color done tonight. My coworker and I are going to put each other's colors on because Christmas is coming up. And this is like the only free day we kind of have, so. Anyway, I will see you guys later on. Bye. Hey guys, so I just left work. It's about 8.15. I have color in my hair and I have to go get milk from the petrol station, so this should be interesting, <laughs> to say the least. So, anywho, hope you had a nice day. I had a long day. It was really, really hot today. Like, really hot. And at one point, we thought our aircon broke. It would have been the worst day for the aircon to break. Because it was, like, that hot. But in Australia, it gets really humid. Ugh, terrible. Anyway, I'm racing an airplane right now. <laughs> I don't want to get milk. I just want to go home. It's okay. Do it for cereal. Do it for cereal. <laughs> morning this English lady was in the salon and um, she was here like to visit her daughter and I gave her a biscuit with her coffee and it was like a gingerbread biscuit with nuts inside and it was dipped in dark chocolate and just dipped on the bottom like it wasn't fully dipped the biscuit so anyway, I gave it to her, and then she asked me, do you have plain biscuits? And I was like, are you joking? It was so rude. And then my boss goes, no, it's Christmas. We only have cookies with chocolate on them at Christmas time. <laughs> she was such a cow, that lady. Couldn't believe it. Such a cow. dark already. So of course, every time I go to the petrol station to get milk, when it's this late after work, there's never anybody there. And of course, there were girls there giving me looks. I don't care though. They can look. At least I'll have pretty hair in a couple of hours. Anyways. I'll see you when I get home. So I'm just going to put my laundry away. And then eat. Uh, and rinse.
rinse my hair. And yeah, I will talk to you guys after I do all of that because it's pretty boring. So we can have a chat afterwards. This is what happens when you take a shower without taking your makeup off. Do you see that black raccoon eyes I have? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to just get dressed in my PJs, eat, and I have to edit a video. And that's about it. Really boring night, but I will talk to you in a bit. So, I have stuff I need to do, like edit the vlog. Well, whatever is left with this vlog, I like didn't vlog today at all because I didn't do anything. I just worked all day. Sorry about that. I feel like it's. <laughs> I feel like I'm just really boring, but anyway. Um, what else? I have to edit the Get Ready With Me video, but I'm just so tired. And I still haven't put my laundry away. I started to, but I didn't finish. <laughs> and then I ate, took a shower. Oh, I'm just really tired. So, tomorrow... We have a first year hairdressing apprentice trialing at the salon, so I will have some help, and I'm actually, sorry, I'm trying to get comfortable, I'm actually kind of um, a bit nervous about it because, like, I've never had anyone, like, well, not beneath me but like you know like she's fresh meat you know a first year apprentice like she doesn't know much about hairdressing and my boss has told me I have to be the teacher because I've been hairdressing for a while now and like I'm still an apprentice but like I'll be fully qualified soon like quicker than she will anyway you get what I'm trying to say so I'm like just a bit worried because, you know, it's always scary when there's a new person coming into the workplace because that one person could completely change the dynamics of the whole workplace. You know, when Kylie, my close friend and co-worker, started working at the salon, she changed the dynamics for the good and I couldn't imagine the salon without her um she just makes coming to work worth it because you know she makes you laugh she's happy she you know it's just it's fun going to work because we have a good time but I'm worried like with one more person coming in like how different it's going to be you know because it's just the four of us my two bosses One's male and one's female, and then me and Kylie. And, <coughs> excuse me, it's just the four of us, and it has been the four of us for a long time. So we're quite like a little close knit group, you know? So when one other person comes in, it's going to completely change. And I think I'm worried for the change, you know? Like, I'm worried for the dynamics changing. I'm worried for things not running as smoothly because she'll have to learn the ropes, you know? Like, she's going to have to learn how our salon operates. She's going to have to learn what we like and what we don't like. She's going to have to learn what our clients like and what they don't like. And we have mostly all regulars, and all our regulars are our clients of my bosses that have been their clients for like 30 years you know my bosses have been hairdressing for a really long time and these clients have just kind of like followed them from salon to salon you know and um you know working there for this long now like I've, I've pretty much been at this salon since um they opened up and working there for so long I've gotten to know all the regulars fairly well Sorry, I'm just trying to get comfortable so I can talk to you guys. Um, here we go. 
So I've um, gotten to know the clients, like, fairly well, you know? And... What was I saying? See, I lose my train of thought, like, so easily. <laughs> Stupid. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I think I'm just anxious. Like, I'm excited because... I can't progress with my career unless I have help and somebody that I can kind of boss around. No. <laughs> and somebody that can, like, you know, pick up the slack, pretty much. Like, I can't do everything. I can't have my own clients and putting colors on and stuff like that when the phone needs to be answered or when there's hair everywhere that needs to be sweeped up or when someone needs a coffee, or when, you know, none of the basins are free because they're all dirty, or the sink is full because of dishes, or the sink is full because of color balls, you know, stuff like that. Or we've run out of towels, you know, like silly little stuff like that. Like it's hard for me to do everything when there's so much little stuff to do. Like you don't realize how much little stuff there is to do like until you're in that workplace like every single day and you're like okay that needs to be done that needs to be done like when a first year apprentice comes in they don't know what needs to be done so you need to teach that and I think I'm also worried that I might teach wrong like I know that sounds stupid but I just you know I want to be a good teacher I want to I want to help this girl grow with her career, I want to, I want to make her love her job, you know, like, make her appreciate the workplace, because it's a, an extremely amazing and friendly workplace, it's such an amazing salon, and I'm so, so lucky to work there, you know, there are so many salons that they treat their employees like crap, and I've, seen it and it's really really bad and I'm just very lucky where I'm working and I hope that they will appreciate that you know what I mean I'm just running around in circles I have so much on my mind but yeah I haven't been able to stop thinking about it today I'm anxious I'm excited to progress and move forward with the help of another I'm anxious to see how it's going to turn out and I'm worried at the same time for a new person to come in. But I'm sure it will all be fine. It's just that, you know, leading up to it type of thing. So anyway, on that note, I'm going to end this fairly short, boring vlog. Thank you so much for listening to me and watching this video. And I will see you tomorrow in hopefully a more exciting video. I will let you know how tomorrow goes, by the way. So, okay. Love you guys. Have a good night.